Uh, today we're carving up a triple tail we caught today. Um, it's pretty sporty out there. My name's Captain Scott Lum and I run Outcast Sport Fishing Charters. And the website address is centralfloridacharters.com. These fish kind of have these pretty tough scales. Definitely uh, one of the harder fish to fillet. But we're going to see if we can play it. Right now these fish are just starting to show up. Um, they show back up around snook season and uh, they just get stronger throughout the, the, the fall. October, November is really strong again with big spawning fish. So hopefully we'll have a good fall season of triple tail fishing. It's kind of hard for me to get leverage on these fish. As you can see, I'm a little vertically challenged. Just cut all the way around the rib cage. And then I leave it on. I don't completely take the side off. I found that if I take one side off, the fish doesn't lay flat anymore. And then you miss, you get a good cut on the first side. And then the second side, you miss a bunch of meat. Well, I mean, just you want to constantly sharpen your knife. You know, they've got these big, tough, tough scales, and uh, they dull your knife pretty quickly. Old timer told me, you cut one side, you throw your knife away, and you get a new knife. So, hit that a little bit. This guy's still, his nerves are still going. when I skin them I like to use a different knife. That other knife is real stiff. It helps me cut through those bones. And then uh, if we had let this fish ice for a long time it would be nice and white. But we didn't have that much time so. And just follow the skin. Use the skin as your guide. One thing you can do is, uh, I can do this without hurting myself, put a cut in the skin right there, put your thumb in there, and then you can kind of hold the knife and pull the skin. That's another way you can do it. couple little rib bones right in here. I'll cut those out. Kind of just, there's a hard part right there, poke the knife in, and then you kind of follow, there's like a hard jaw ridge right there, and you use that and you just scoop it out. It ends up being like a size of a big scallop. And the cool part when you get right here, you can just put your fingers in here, and it just peels right away from that skin right there. It's a real, real tender piece of meat right there. It's uh. Almost a little, like a piece of chicken. Super uh, sweet. And 
poke in and kind of bend the knife and scoop. There's a hard ridge right there that you can use as a guide. That way you don't miss anything at all. Scoop it in. 